Oh, oh man. I absolutely love watching the FNAF movie. I just saw it for the 15th time. Oh man, such a good movie. Uh, what? The puppet? What are you doing is sitting in front of this suspiciously placed chair that covers my entire desk so I can't see anything behind it. Puppet, you know I actually have a massive fear of the largest Five Nights at Freddy's movie plush collection. So I swear if I move this chair and the largest FNAF movie plush collection is right there, I'm gonna freak out. Get out of here. Alright, let's move this and see what we got. Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, we are taking a look at my entire Five Nights at Freddy's movie plush collection and showing you guys how to make your very own Five Nights at, Mo Five Nights at Freddy's movie plush collection. So, let's get right into it. So, to get started on your FNAF movie plush collection, the very first one you need is Freddy Fazbear. This is a custom Freddy Fazbear, especially from Sly Pie himself, to look more accurate to the movie version of Freddy Fazbear, because the actual Freddy we got looks a little too silly and chunky. So, after Freddy Fazbear, we have... Custom movie Bonnie the Bunny. Again, thanks to Sly Pie. This is absolutely phenomenal. His entire body is entirely brand new and hand sewn to look just like Bonnie from the movie, being blue color and gray. Oh, he looks so good. So after Bonnie, we have... Chica the Chicken and Carl the Cupcake, both looking like Five Nights at Freddy's movie versions. Basically, a little improved versions, better from the original Funko plushies. And this one, again, is also from Sly Pie. So, after Chica the Chicken, we got... Full-sized Carl, because we know in the FNAF movie, Carl does so much damage, like jumping out and eating people's faces. So we have to have a full-sized Carl. But after full-sized Carl is... Foxy the Pirate Fox, again, who is a incredible movie-looking version of the character with his foxy pants and his metallic legs, his giant open mouth, which he uses to chomp, a metallic hand, and a hook, just like he uses in the movie. He looks so good. So, if you only want the core characters for FNAF movie plushies, then here you are. All you need is a Freddy, a Bonnie, a Chica, a Cupcake, and a Foxy. You can either get a little cupcake, like I did here, or you can have the full-size Funko Cupcake. This one is actually the Sanchi Chica Cupcake. Cake. So whichever one you would prefer, this is how you can get started on the main four line of FNAF movie plushies. But there's way more characters than this, so let's go check out the extra characters after these guys. So first up on the extra characters, we have Golden Freddy. Now for the FNAF movie, you can choose if you want a Golden Freddy in your FNAF movie plush collection. Of course, Golden Freddy in, is in the movie even if it's only for a few minutes, so it's up to you if you think that few minutes of screen time is worth this extreme extremely rare plush because this plush is about two three hundred dollars it can get very pricey or you can always make your own custom one but after going freddy the next kind of secret character we have is balloon boy now of course balloon boy is shown off in the movie so he has to be included in the collection of fnaf custom plushies he's shown off three different times in the movie as a little balloon boy figure which does a scary jump scare to michael afton as well as Corey kenshin in the taxi of his car which is really cool so if you want a official complete fnaf movie collection you can't forget balloon boy as he's technically in the movie three separate times so after bb a lot of the characters become almost even more secret so let's see who we have after him Next up is Shadow Freddy, who is probably the most difficult plushie to get in this collection because Shadow Freddy is the rarest FNAF plush. Shadow Freddy does actually show up in the FNAF movie as a secret character after Max the babysitter dies. That's who she's stuffed into in that back room is Shadow Freddy. So he's only on screen for about a few seconds, but he is technically in the movie. So if you guys think it's worth it to complete your FNAF movie plush collection, then you do technically need a Shadow Freddy to finish it off. So Shadow Freddy is a very secret character in the movie but he does work as a plush now next up we have some absolutely incredible custom plushies made by doggo gone wild on instagram i'll link, I'll link slap high and doggo in the pinned comments so let's go see what he made for us Boom! The next plush we have is Sparky the dog, and of course, Sparky the dog actually sits right next to Shadow Freddy in that backroom scene. Now, this Sparky plush is just absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a, a official Funko plush. I mean, compare him next to Shadow Freddy. He looks so real. This 
entire Sparky plush is 100% hand sewn by Doggo Gone Wild, and he has just done an incredible job. His stubby little arms and legs, his perfect Sparky looking head, the Sparky ears, the Sparky dog bone, all the details on the Sparky face. Imagine hand sewing this entire thing is absolutely incredible. Now, Sparky is a secret character in the movie, but they made an entire costume for him, so it makes sense that an entire custom Sparky plush is made for him so he can fit into the FNAF movie. I think he looks absolutely incredible, and if you do want a complete FNAF movie plush collection, then you have to add Sparky the dog in there, as you see him multiple times in the movie, and he's the name of the diner where Matt Pat works at. So, Sparky the dog is the next I don't want to throw him or destroy him. I'm getting treated very gently. He is the next plush in our FNAF movie custom plush collection. So after Sparky the dog, who do we have up next? Up next, we have Torture Freddy. Oh my god, Torture Freddy is incredible. Now, if you don't recognize Torture Freddy like this, I don't blame you because you will recognize Torture Freddy like this. Torture Freddy is the Saw Mask Blade Freddy, which kills Michael Afton and the very first Night Guard that we see at the beginning of the movie. And again, this incredible plush is made by Doggo Gone Wild. So this is actually what the front of him looks like that you can see in the movie. In the behind the scenes videos, such as Doggo's video, this is what he looks like. This is his face. It's all destroyed and green and gray with some bits of brown in it, looking like a really worn out Freddy. But you can definitely tell what he is from this side. He has his iconic saw blades, the giant red eyes which stare into as it gets closer and it goes <laughs> oh my, it's so cool. It has the torso blades and everything. He looks incredible. I specifically asked for him to actually have a body, so that's why he has a body and legs even though in the movie he doesn't, just so he could stand up and he could look so much better because look at this iconic guy. This is exactly how it looks in the movie and this is such a cool custom blush because look, it's completely hollow. How did he even make the head stand up if it's just floppy fabric, if it's completely hollow, saw blades on one side and the face on the other? It's it's like, it's only the pieces of felt. I have no idea how he made this incredible custom plush, which looks so good. And then we have to get to the final and the main character of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which is Spring Bonnie or William Afton. Now in this collection, I actually have three different Spring Bonnies for the different stages that we see William Afton in. And this first Spring Bonnie is when we see William Afton in the flashback photo that Vanessa gives him. When he's in he's his perfectly clean Spring Bonnie outfit that looks good as new. He has the perfectly clean Spring Bonnie head and the eyes and the bow tie and the rabbit ears. It's when Freddy's was a functioning location so Spring Bonnie could actually be, you know, a walking, talking, performing character before he murdered all those kids. He was a happy looking Spring Bunny guy. So if you do want your collection, this is the easiest and best way to put William Afton or Spring Bonnie in your collection. So who do we have up next? Up next is a absolutely phenomenal custom, again, from Doggo Gone Wild. This being the current movie Spring Bonnie Spring Trap that we actually see. So you can tell this is the withered version of Spring Bonnie that has his withering on the sides, his giant Spring Bonnie teeth, the more decayed, creepy eyes, his missing ear, withering only on the side of him because that's how he looks in the movie, but looking 100% accurate. You can tell it's a spring trap base that he turned into the Spring Bonnie, which looks so good for his movie version because in the flashback photo, he looks all nice and happy and clean, but this is exactly how he looks in the movie, which is just absolutely incredible that Doggo made these three super cool customs being Spring Bonnie, Torture Freddy, and Sparky. Those are the last customs from Doggo, but we still have one more incredible custom from Sly Pie. So, which one is it? This custom is the destroyed Spring Bonnie William Afton. This is what he looks like after the spring locks go off and we see him in the end of the movie when he's all decayed and destroyed and sitting in the back kitchen. So, these are the three stages of William Afton. This is when we first see him in the flashback photo with Vanessa by his side in the open Freddy Fazbear's location. Then this is when we first actually see him in the movie with the Spring Bonnie suit on when he fights Michael Afton and Abby. And then this is how we see him in the end of the movie after the spring locks go off and he's all dead and the suit is rotted and destroyed and gross. This is how he looks. So this is such a absolutely incredible incredible custom FNAF Plus video and a FNAF movie collection. Please let me guys, guys, let me know which one of these plush you guys have for your FNAF movie collections, but don't worry, I'm not ending off this video without a FNAF movie giveaway. 
So for this giveaway, I'm giving away classic versions of Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Of course, you can't have these versions because these are the special ones made for the video. So if you guys would like a Freddy, a Bonnie, a Chica, or Foxy, I'm not giving away a Golden Freddy or a Shadow Freddy. That's really expensive. But I made sure to get these classic guys for you. You won't get these withered ones. These are my own personal ones. I just bought new ones on Amazon so I can give them to the giveaway winner. All you guys have to do is the three simple classic steps. Real Puggle fans, you already know what to do you've already entered leave a comment if you're a real puggle fan but in case you don't no worries let me show you how to do it first of all you have to like the video second of all you have to subscribe to the channel and the third and final step is you have to leave a comment saying you finished all three steps so i know you did it and which fnaf movie plush was your favorite again my personal favorite would just have to be oh spring bonnie william afton by doggo which looks incredible but please let me know out of all these plushies which one is your personal favorite yeah so, please let me know how much of the FNAF movie plush collection do you guys have? Do you guys make super cool customs for the movie, such as Sparky the Dog, the Torture Freddy, or a Spring Bonnie? Or do you guys just have the normal plush, like you have a normal Freddy, a normal Bonnie, a normal Chica, maybe a Cupcake, Foxy, maybe some of the rare ones like Golden Freddy, Balloon Boy, Shadow Freddy, or the classic Spring Bonnie? Please let me know, as I would love to see your guys' FNAF movie plush collections. And I really hope you guys did enjoy. Again, another massive, massive thank you for the incredible custom plushies from Slap High being the custom Freddy, custom Bonnie, custom Chica, custom Foxy, and custom Spring Bonnie, and the amazing custom from Doggo Gone Wild being custom Sparky, custom Torture Freddy, and custom Spring Bonnie. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy. I know I absolutely love all these plushies. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Out of all these, especially the customs, I just have to say the custom William Afton Spring Bonnie is just so good. I just, he can't even compare to any of the other ones. It's so amazing and so talented. I'm just absolutely in love with this custom plushie. It's one of the best ones ever created. Please let me know in the comments below as I would love to hear your guys' opinions on what it is. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to enter into the giveaway for this and I will see you all later. Good?